probably sitting down right now as you watch this, right? But are you sitting up straight? You might want to take a moment to correct your posture because there is mounting evidence that good posture leads to all kinds of health benefits from reducing back and joint pain to even improving your mood. Here to tell us more is WSJ reporter Jean Whalen and Dr. Evan Johnson, assistant professor at Columbia University and director of physical therapy at the Spine Center at Columbia University Medical Center. Hi, Jean and Hello. Dr. Johnson. Thanks so much for both of you to both of you for being here. Jean, I'm going to start with you because posture seems to be very hard to correct. Why are so many of us slumping these days? Well, it, I guess it's hard to correct just because it's so ingrained. You know, right. we don't think about it, but we kind of learn bad posture and then it's really hard to break the cycle unless you really focus on it consciously. And of course, with many of us sitting now for most of our days, it's some 75% of the North American population sits in front of a computer all day. That's really led to a lot of bad posture out there. So Dr. Johnson, that's problematic, right? Are we sitting too much to begin with? And now the, now we're sitting too much and we're not sitting properly. I, that both are true. We are okay. sitting too much. And probably the most important thing to do is variety. Mm -hmm. Really, really, history has prepared us to move and to move throughout the day. And so although there is an ideal posture to sit at, there's also this idea to get up, move around, okay. and, and keep active during the day. So how should we sit? Please demonstrate. Sure. Although you sit beautifully, <laughs> Tanya. But that's, that said, basically when you're sitting, what we're looking at is having the earlobes above the shoulders, mm -hmm. or, or, and then the shoulders above the hips, mm -hmm. and a slight curve in the, lum in the lumbar ah. spine or low back. Okay, a slight curve. And a is slight it curve. The same one we're standing, Jean, is it supposed to, are you supposed to balance your weight between Two feet? Yeah, well, this is what Dr. Johnson has told me. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. But <laughs> yes, you're supposed to balance your weight between two feet. And I guess one important um, thing to keep in mind is a lot of us now, because we sit at computers kind of hunched over and with mm -hmm. our necks slightly extended, I guess, because we're trying to view the screens, that's a bad posture. And we've also started walking and standing this way. So, you'll see a lot of people walking down the street like oh, this. Oh, how and terrible. I guess it's important to kind of keep your head and your earlobes over your shoulders, Indeed. is that right? So Dr. Indeed. Johnson, what can we do? Does the infamous book on head exercise still work? It does still work. It does, It okay. does still work, and, and the, but again, it's a, this dynamic situation, so the eye posture, right? Mm -hmm. The posture when you're sitting down and using your phone or the tablet or the computer or reading a book. So it's this dynamic movement, and you reference this nice posture where you do have this kind of string attached to the head like a marionette, mm -hmm. and the beads fall in sequence, or the spine falls in sequence. Fabulous, and what sorts of ailments are you finding are connected to bad posture? Oh, plenty of ailments from adolescence to older. So even some of what you see in terms of these curved spines and osteoporotic spines that, that are curved over time. Children who have all kinds of issues around the shoulders and the neck pain. Pinched nerves in the back and pinched nerves in the neck. All can be impacted by posture. Unbelievable. And is it true that if we stand properly, sit properly, we can actually give ourselves a little mood boost? This is, this is something that I um, had seen in some research coming out of uh, Germany and California where they, they um, split people into two groups and had one sit in a slouched position and one sit in an upright position and showed each group some a collection of negative and positive words and had them think about, you know, the positive words would be things like beautiful and had them think about times when they felt beautiful. And I believe, I actually believe that. And you know, I have to say, of course, no discussion about posture would be complete without a discussion of that 2010 study that got a lot of play when it was right. discussed in the TED Talks that alpha posture or sort mm -hmm. of high power posture can make you seem better or smarter or... That's right. They found that, that people who stood in um, kind of, you know, in a real alpha posture with the hands on the desks kind of leaning forward right. like a sort of CEO would or sitting back with feet up on the table and the hands behind the head um, after explaining those positions showed higher levels of testosterone, right. the domin dominance hormone, mm -hmm. and lower levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, compared to people who had sat in a slouched position. So you see, Grandma was right. Sit up straight. <laughs> Grandma was right, indeed. <laughs> Dr. Johnson and Jean, thank you to both of you for being here today.